Hey, hi. Uh, now we are just looking out uh, some samples. Okay, so before that, uh, I just want to know you that uh, we are just using online compilers for these uh, charts because uh, as well as I will show you how we can integrate in our code also. Okay, but for now on, we are just using online compiler. There are two compilers is are there. One is the JS Fiddle and another is a code pen okay so it provides you all the workspace like html css and, and javascript separately see like this you can able to separate each and everything easily here okay so uh, with this you can uh, manage everything okay so now uh, see if i just uh, see you can just open it at, as like uh, at the bottom uh, see here is a open in okay so you just need to click uh, for the code pen for this icon and for js feeder you okay, you just need to click here and if you want just a javascript then you 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 have to click here view demo source code and this demo source code will be seen here okay so it, it, there is also typescript also available for for javascript uh, for angular and uh, react also okay so we can use that or uh, you can just use uh, javascript it is very good and very easy okay so we are just going to see a small overview now okay so see there is a html we to to show this to show this graph <coughs> it takes just three libraries of amp charts okay you can able to download it and use it offline also and you can use it like as a cdn Okay, so here we are just using the CDN. Okay, and uh, now next is uh, there is just a one div tag. Okay, it is just a normal div tag, it, which is the empty div tag actually. And here there is a there is an ID. So ID field is mandatory because in this I with the help of this ID we can able to show a particular graph into the particular div. Okay, so if I just uh, copy pasted this thing and change the idea of due then we can have a multiple graphs as we need but we need to do some another set of in a javascript for that so we can able to we can easily able to do that okay so and this is a normal css if you have right or not it no issues but the main thing is that here uh chart due okay the chart due having i am just removing it to not to confusing anything okay so this is the one chart due we have an id okay so it having width and height okay now uh, width containing 100 percent because width can be uh, directly managed okay and the height only we need to manage the height okay uh, here and the height we have to give uh, as per uh, pixels okay uh, if you are giving the height in a percentage then it will not working properly so you need to give height in pixels only and you can also other uh, or the other types of uh, si uh, size uh, sizes there okay in a css you can use that also okay but normally we are just using that okay so know that and uh, note that you you need to specify height and width okay okay and you must need to specify a one div tag okay now we are just moving on to the javascript part okay so i'm just uh, okay so uh, html is not more needed here okay so it is just a comment part we are just ignoring that okay but the one more thing i'm i, I just want to tell you uh, here uh, in inside the commented part you can able to see uh, from where this code is uh, selected or uh, copy pasted here okay so they have a documentation amcharts file having a good documentation a very good quality documentation so you must have to read that okay so uh, okay now here amcharts file shows that uh, it having a root element documentation so we can just go to the root element means uh, root documentation that can be here okay so now you can see the root uh, what about the root and why it is used okay so we will we will look about that in later videos but just i just want to show you a brief overview of a amp chart with the a, 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 a quick start guide okay here so
so we are just providing a root element okay root and root variable and inside that root variable we are just creating our chart root with the help of our do id okay so you, you you can create as much as uh, with the different uh, different variable with the different ids okay but uh, one one page can contain only one root okay yeah now uh, see there uh, we have uh, they have set up uh, a theme also and after that we will look each and everything but later i just want to give a brief just a normal overview okay so they have created a container uh, it is the uh, outer container like this uh, means uh, in this chart okay so that container having some uh, attributes like you can pan zoom wheel x wheel y okay like that okay so that things are uh, added here and there is a cursor like this uh, see if i am just hovering on it so it is called as a cursor okay and next is the axis so the x and y axis that you are showing it is a usa china japan and 400 600 800 it is like a x and y axis okay so x axis is basically the usa china and japan and the y axis is like uh, the oh, vertical axis like uh, 400 600 800 like here okay there is a x axis and y axis okay so both axis are pushed uh, with this code here okay and there is also a template grid and uh, it containing the uh, x render okay there is a there is an x renderer which having the axis render it is uh, it is basically the base container for that axis okay and after that there is a series okay inside the series uh, you can uh, as the these bars are the uh, these these bars values are actually stored inside the series okay yeah and uh, after that there is there is a series we can set the series we can unset we can delete the series we can do everything and the main thing is data so data is provided in a list format with the help of dictionary so it is a list of dictionary or or list of objects in a javascript okay so with the help of this you can able to see this i am just uh, minimizing that and after that list of dictionaries uh, or objects you can just able to see x axis dot set all so uh, so we can able to set the data and series also we can series dot data dot set all so the, this data variable is directly set into this and the series dot appear thousand it is just for animation purposes so at the at the load time it can be appear with the help of animations and the chart can also be the with the same for the appearances so likewise this is the just a brief overview i will explain each and everything in a detail so just stick around and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.